from the beginning. That's what I'm talking about. From the beginning. And from the Rockville campus at Montgomery College, Montgomery College Television is proud to present the third and final game of our day. This one between the Montgomery College Raptors and the Carroll Lynx. Michael Brown alongside my partner, Andre Anderson. And Andre, we're uh, looking forward to a, another great match. Yeah. if. Uh it's going to be like it has been throughout the day. These are going to be very close, high intensity, a lot of energy, and very exciting. Raptors in white. The uh, Carol Lynx are in blue. And we are underway. This is the third match of our uh, tri-match day here at uh, Montgomery College. Raptors took the first match of the day. They knocked off Potomac State three sets to one. Then Potomac State came back in our second match to beat Carroll three to one. And uh, so now this is our third and final match of the day. Raptors come into this one with a record of eight and four on the season. And Carroll comes in with a record of four and three. Raptors are three and two in Maryland Juco, and Carroll is three and one. So it's been a great day of volleyball, a lot of uh, great play, a lot of uh, energy, a lot of skill. It's been a lot of fun. It has. Quite frankly. It, it really has. And both these teams already played a game today. So there might be a little bit of fatigue going on, um, you know, a little bit of heavy legs. But I know as an athlete, every time you get to play, those things kind of fade away, and you're just excited. Well, not to blow the horn, uh, toot the horn of uh, MCTV, but uh, – Having the games on television, on YouTube, online streaming, um, I think that kind of ramps up the intensity a little bit as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, imagine getting to be on television, on YouTube, streamed in front of your friends and family. Plus, there's people in the stands screaming for you as well. Well, you know, uh, it's interesting you bring that up because uh, – uh, between uh, between games, we had a chance to uh, to meet the grandfather of uh, Megan Wessling for Montgomery College. Megan, one of the uh, outstanding players on the Raptors team, and uh, he told me that his brother is watching in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. online, and Megan's mother had to be in uh, North Carolina this weekend, and she is watching from down there. So oh, wow. Shout that's out. just a little snapshot into uh, the reach uh, that we have, MCTV has, thanks to uh, the internet and streaming. Double shout out there. Well, half shout out to Pittsburgh, as I'm a Ravens fan, so <laughs> just kidding. So... Head coach for uh, Carroll is uh, Terry Leatherwood. And head coach for the Montgomery College Raptors is Patty Westenberg. Her assistants are Dan Smith and Rich Carter. And Ooh. Coach Leatherwood's assistants are Sarah Jabot and Katrina Witham. So Raptors up early, 6-3. We're in the first set. Uh, for those of you not familiar with uh, with college volleyball, it is a best out of five sets. 
The first four sets are to 25, win by two. The third set, is, or I'm sorry, the fifth set, if necessary, is 15 to 15, win by two. Mia Lee. Ooh, oh, great block. Great block there by Olivia Wright to put it away. Both teams have come out the gate quick here. I mean, it's already 7-4 of the game. The match just started. Energy level is really high. This is, this is outstanding. It almost feels like a championship type of uh, feel. It really does. A lot of energy in the building. It has been all day. Oh, and there's a, a tough one there from Carly Badorf, who uh, we were very impressed with in the uh, in the match against Potomac State. She's a strong, strong player for uh, the uh, Lynx. Yeah, and she leads her team in many categories, uh, kills, digs. Um, she's an all-around player. And there's a good shot of Megan Westling right there. We were talking about her relatives around the country uh, tuning in. The yeah, number one uh, kills leader on Montgomery College. Not standing player as well. Ooh. Stanojevic with that point for the Raptors. Let's uh, see if we can quickly pick up. That's Stanojevic, number 13. On her right is uh, Olivia Wright. There's Megan Wessling with the serve. We also have uh, Alex Thayer out there for the Raptors. Uh, Millennia uh, Bates. And uh, Jana Crocker for the Raptors. For Carroll, number 22, the libero is Sophia DiMaggio. Serving is number two, Abigail Morley. We've also got number six out there, Stacy Kutzler. Number 14, Carly Badorf. And we'll pick up the other two here in just a minute. Number uh, five, Lauren Gariglia. And I believe that covers it. Yes. Of course, both teams will substitute freely. It's in. And that's in. And that was uh, Jana Crocker, who is uh, a another all-around star for the Raptors. This puts uh, Millennia Bates on the line. She leads the team in digs. He's also right up there in service aces. Good point here. Ooh, great dig. Excellent dig by Bates. Boy, she just throws herself around the, the floor. Wow. That's a good attempt. Good attempt. Um, a good point by Carroll to tie the game up at nine. So Carroll came right back. They fell behind early, but uh, they're right back all tied up. Badorf with the serve. She's tough from the service line. Bates gets it over. And that's out. Point for the Raptors. Garigli a little long with that one. There's a look at number seven for the Raptors, Mariel Amigos. The second year player. And uh, Deanna Garcia at the service line. Great serve. Yeah, she's uh, she's been on point all day with her serves. And that's going to be long. Kutzler goes long with it. And that gives the lead back to the Raptors. Another great. Ooh, Ooh just close, out. Very close. I was going to say, she's serving like Coco Golf, but that one was a little bit out. She tried to put it in an impossible uh, to return spot and just missed it. Grace Bowman with the serve. There's the set. Mia Lee, nice dig by Bates. Quick hand. Great dig by Garcia. Set Bates puts it up. 
Fan, there you go. Crocker with the put away. Good look at Jana Crocker right there. Yeah, that was, a, that was a nice rally. Raptors up by two. First set. Raptors looking to finish the day with two wins. And that goes long, Badorf. And of course, Carroll trying to get out of here with uh, a 500 day, one win, one loss. They lost, uh, of course, their, their first match of the day to Potomac State. Oh, great save by Cutler. Wow, practically in the stands. Oh, and there is Westling. Look, there, look who it is. Doing what she does best, puts it away. She came into the match with 103 kill, uh, came into the day rather with 103 kills. 56 digs, which for a player of her power and size is a little bit unusual. Shows her versatility. Yeah, she, she, is, again. she just helps oh, the yeah. she just helps the team all over the court, and she just picked up another point for the Raptors. So Crocker stays on the service line as the Raptors uh, increase their lead to five. Ooh, good low hard serve, but Badorf was there. Great dig by Bates. I'm just so impressed with her. Mia Lee, she goes out with it. So we've had a full day of volleyball here in Montgomery College. And it has not disappointed. Wesley, oh, oh. that was in. Perfectly yep. placed. Perfectly placed. And that'll put Davy, Ariana Davy, on the uh, service line. She hit. Served very well in the Raptors' first match of the day. DiMaggio gets it over. Here comes the set. Wessling swoops in. Great dig there, oh. but they couldn't save it as uh, Wessling put a lot of mustard on that one. Maybe it was Heinz mustard from Pittsburgh. Maybe some spicy Heinz mustard. Ah. Uh, that's, my, that's one of my favorites. There you go. There you go. Oh, but on a hot dog or a hamburger, that's the question. It's uh, not not yeah. good? No, I'm asking you. Oh, me. Oh, it's mustard all the way. On both? Hot dog and hamburger? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm not a ketchup person. Wow. We gotta, yeah. We're going to come back to this off air. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, no way they were going to save that one. 17-13 Raptors, and we're in the first set, the third and final match of the day. Raptors looking to go 2-0 and for the day, and Carroll hoping to pick up a win. Comes to set, Oliver. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Olivia Wright. Just put it away deep. She's a presence in the middle there. She's just a freshman. Bates gets it over. Oh, good try. That was a heck of a point there for uh, it was. Carroll. 18-14, it's a close match, very close match. Kind of what we expected, Acheron. Ooh, what a dig by Bates. And, you know, Olivia Wright, she's, she's a, a tall player, but she has a very soft touch around the, uh, the net, and I really think it throws some players off. It does. They look at her stature and think, oh, my God, she's going to just pound it. And she can pound it. She can. But she likes to throw that change up every now and then. And that's what I think is the uh, uh, is, is what's different with, you know, players that are tall. It's like 
you're able to get up there and spike it, those outside hitters. But like you said, it's not always about the power. It's like in baseball, pitchers have multiple, you know, things in their arsenal. Absolutely. Crocker gets it over. 19-16. And it's a point for the Raptors. Sanojevic with the put away, number 13. Good look at her. Bates, great jump serve. And that's out. And that'll put the Raptors up by five. If they're creeping up to the end of the first set here. They want to keep this momentum going, pick up some more points. Again, it's 25. Each set is to 25, win by two. Unless we go to the fifth set when it's 15, win by two. Comes to set, Davies puts it away. Ariana Davy put that one away to make it 22-16 and keep Bates on the line. Oh, good low serve. Oh, great dig by Amigos. They call a double hit. Amigos really sacrificed herself there, but must have uh, inadvertently double hit. Crocker. Ooh. Wait, this is, wow. And uh, Amigos couldn't hit it again, so it fell right there. 22-18. Set and Crocker. I'm sorry, Stanojevic. Into the net. Another point for the Raptors. 23-18. And Deanna Garcia will do the honors from the service line. She's had an excellent day from back there. One of the more experienced players on the roster. Ooh, I jinxed her. That's what we call a commentator's curse. Yep. I praised her, and then she proceeded to hit it into the net. <laughs> That's on me, Deanna. Crocker. Ooh. Boy, that was a tough one. Nice save there by Morley. Oh, two. Yep. Double hit. Double hit. So, Matt, uh, set point coming up here for the Raptors. Crocker. Carroll stays alive. They are not going down easily. And that's exactly what we expected. Madeline Maggio with the serve. There comes Ooh. Davey, but she had it blocked. Beautiful block by Akron. Man, that looked like a uh, uh, set point there, but uh, there's going to be a timeout on the floor. It's a good call. It's a good call. Good call as, as Carroll's been, you know, creeping back into this one. All Raptors need is one point, but it's going to be a tough point to get as Carroll has been stepping it up. And Carroll has to serve. So 
course, you can score off even if you're not on the serve, of course. So we'll see what happens here. Good uh, look there at uh, Patty Westenberg, the uh, head coach for the Montgomery College Raptors. She's in her first season with the Raptors after several years at uh, Frederick. It's been a very tight contest today. Honestly, every single game we've seen today, there has been no distinct, like, you know, clear, better team. You know, the teams are very even. All three teams uh, very evenly matched. We haven't had a blowout all day. No, and every team has stars, you know, good – I mean, every player on these teams are good. But uh, – We haven't had a, a quick wipeout set the entire day. Oh. And I don't expect one here. They got to get it over. They do. Bates, here comes the set. And there's Wesling. Uh, and point to Carroll. The Lynx don't want to go away. So that puts Maggio back on the service line. Two-point match. Still set point for Raptors. Oh, look oh. at that. That was, that was nice. Deanna Garcia with that a was very, nice. very slick move. That was nice. And That uh, even tricked me. That takes the uh, – that's the set as the Raptors wow. take it 25-22 as Deanna Garcia fooled everybody uh, by not setting it and just – Little cut shot right into yeah. the uh, right into the opening in the defense. I mean, how can you even return that? You have to be. Well, they were all they were all set for. Uh, yeah, waiting for the set. They were wet, waiting for the kill. They were they were getting set to block, and um, let's see if we uh, get a look at it here. But uh, this is just a, a a bit of a recap of the first set. Uh, Raptors led. All the way. There's Crocker with a with a kill. Megan Wessling with a kill. A good shot of Megan. I just love how after every point you can celebrate. Yep. You know, and you can do that in every sport too, but in volleyball there's so many points. Right. That you know you can celebrate every time. Like I would love that. And a good shot again of Patty Westenberg, head coach for the Raptors. Her two assistants, Stan Smith and Rich Carter, have been assistants here at Montgomery College for several years. Uh, Dan goes back three coaches. Wow. Yeah. Dan Smith has been, uh, he's a fixture around here. We're never letting him go, <laughs> whether he knows it or not. Uh, well, if he watches uh, this after, watches the stream, he now knows he can't go anywhere. No, he's he's here. He's an institution. <laughs> <laughs> and a good look at the Carroll bench. Carroll is a recent entrant into uh, Maryland JUCO. Uh, they're just uh, within the last couple of years, they've uh, really gotten their um, athletic program going. And uh, they've been quite competitive. They have. I mean, with only, what, seven games so far this season they've played, they've looked really good. MC's at 12 games, so. Um, and I know you covered them uh, earlier this year in, uh, in a soccer match. Yes, I did. And they're also, their soccer, their men's soccer program is also uh, fairly new as well. So it seems like they're doing a good job over in uh, Carroll Community College, you know, um, helping out with the sports and, and maybe getting a little, a little more funding and, you know, really helping these student athletes uh, do well in the class, which I know they are for sure, but also on the field and on the court and whatever other 
I know they gave the Raptors men's team all they wanted in that game, right? It was a 1-0. Oh, yeah. 1-0 game. It was, I think, 40 seconds left. Like, the last goal was scored in the last 40 seconds of the game. So, you know. And, of course, Montgomery College men's soccer uh, has a history of excellence uh, under uh, head coach Pedro Braz. They've won five. Out of, uh, he's been here six years, and he's won five Maryland Juco championships. So, that kind of speaks for itself. They've been to nationals three times, perhaps four, at least three yeah. under Pedro. He was here for three years. He left for a couple, uh, and then he and now he's back uh, on his second stint. As we are set to get the uh, second set underway, and Mariel Amigos doing the serving. <clears throat> Out. And the first point of the set goes to the Raptors. Quick start. Let's see if they can build on this. And that's also out. So the Raptors gra grab a quick 2-0 lead. Wow, Ooh. great save. Good dig. Cuts Good for block. Wow, what a block by Wright. I want to join in on one of those. Those who? Wright just put up the impenetrable wall. I'm not going to try to say <laughs> that again. <laughs> you sure? You can get one more chance. <laughs> We've been talking all day, folks. <laughs> 3-1 Raptors. Second set. Raptors took the first set, 25-22. Nice save. Double hit. And serving for uh, Carol is Stacy Kutzler. Crocker. Lena Bates is everywhere. She really is. She's tireless. And another point for Carol. So they tie it up at three. Raptors jumped out 3 0, and a blink of an eye later is 3 3. That was one of those situations where Beth couldn't, or Bates couldn't decide which way to turn her hands. Yeah. Crocker. What a wow. shot. Excellent. Excellent play there by Crocker. Freshman player as well. And here's a good look at uh, Milena Bates. Excellent server. And there's a point for the Raptors. So Bates will stay at the service line. Got it over somehow. Bates almost had an ace. Wow. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Olivia Wright. I'm sorry, Davey. Ariana Davey. That makes the coach happy. Patty Westenberg with a big smile on her face after that kill by Ariana Davey. Oh, what, what a, a save. Dig by Bates. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that might be the, say, the the dig of the day there by Malena Bates. That is replay replay worthy. 
Hats off to her. Wow. Incredible. Mm. She's been doing it all day, too. That's definitely, you know, Sports Center top 10. Or in this case, MCTV top 10. Exactly. She's going to need a nice bath tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't Man. know how they keep diving. and She has hit the floor countless. Well, it's not the only one, obviously, but it's, it's really something. And as we expected, the Raptors are using a little more of their bench in this uh, match. Give everybody some playing time. And there's a point for the Raptors. Wow. Oh! Wow. That, was, that was like magic. How did that happen? Bates set for Crocker. What happened? Violation by the Raptors, point to Carroll. And Abigail Morley with the serve. Bates. Oh. Davey. Oh, yeah. Bates. Another violation on the Raptors. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Time to be great. Oh, ace. And they just found the opening there. And they take their first lead out of the uh, of the match. Amigos, and it's out. A little bit of a run here for Carroll as they have uh, grabbed the lead and are up by two. Set. And point two, Carroll. As Thayer's uh, attempt there just went a little bit wide. Davey, they're not going to get that one. So they stopped the run there. Wesling comes back in for the Raptors. Migos takes a seat, and Crocker will serve. She tried the little ding to set. In. And That's Crocker in. Crocker is in. And there goes the bench. Very excited, hyping the team up. Oh, and there's a great shot. They're always smiling over there and having a good time. Oh, big put away there by Badorf for Carroll. Carly Badorf, who uh, leads the team in kills. And digs. And digs. And we talked about that last match. That seems that's a pretty unusual combination. Point for the Raptors. They trail. And that'll put Ar Ariana Davey on the, uh, the serve line. She had a excellent serving uh, 
game against Potomac State. Yes, got to get it over. They do, oh, but nobody's there's... there. And Bates comes back in. Davey takes a seat. And that puts uh, Sophia DiMaggio on the service line for Carroll. And she goes into the net. That's very unusual for her. And an excellent serving uh, match against uh, Potomac State. That puts Alex Thayer on the line. Oh, nice serve. Very good serve. Oh, oh. the dink. Once again, Acaron. That seems to be everyone's kryptonite. They're just, you know, they're expecting the big hit and then they just take something off of it. Wow. That was Bullies. a tough serve. Yeah, that was a bully. Wrestling. She's back. Wrestling comes out and she's going to leave the serving to Amigos. Mariel Amigos. Great serve. Acheron can't get it over. 15 14. Carroll on top. Second set. Raptors won the first. 25-22. Oh, there's a good serve. Good block again. Ooh. And point to Potomac State. Or I'm sorry, Carroll. Stacy Kessler at the uh, service line. Comes Crocker. What? Somehow they kept it alive. What? Amazing. Oh, the Raptors got it over. That was that was what a turn of events there. Wow, and great I, point. What a point. That was that was an exciting point there. That was awesome. Rap, Raptors take the lead 16-15. That was awesome. And Bates will now serve for MC. Deep jump serve. There's Crocker. They're going to have to hustle. They get it over. Davey. Ooh, that was big time. They Davey knew that. puts it away. They knew that. That was big time. Tied the score up, 16-16. This set is a lot different than the first one, as MC ran away in the first set, but this one, Seems to be back and forth, back and forth. Well, the last thing Carol wants to do is go down two sets to none. Yeah. And uh, Raptors just took the lead there. Uh -oh. As Malena, Malena Bates stays on the uh, service line. Another good serve. Badar puts it into the again. net. Raptors up two. And a timeout on the floor as Carroll wants to stop the run. The Raptors have run off four straight points. Quick timeout here. Get some water. Get a good look at uh, Raptors bench. Head coach Patty Westenberg. I think we could almost listen in. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'd be learning from the She's best. She's not so. even mic'd up, and we, you know. Her energy is, is great. Yeah. So, Patty Westenberg in her first year as head coach here, and uh, Terry Leatherwood is the head coach of, uh, of Carroll. I like those sweaters. Yes, very nice. What do I have to do to get... You know, to get one of those. I don't know. I, I don't know that we're. Uh, I, I would like to have one. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're just we're just peons, you know. I guess we don't. No. We're not good enough. It's okay. No worries. Hey, we've got some Granny Smith apples here. Whoa, whoa, we have many, we have plenty. Yeah, we have plenty. I got a whole peck of them right here <laughs> next to me. That was one of those things I never knew what a peck was. A peck. Yeah, it's a. It's, that, 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 it's, it's, it's an amount of apples. <laughs> I'm just not sure. It's not a bushel. It's a peck. So, like, say four or five? I think it's more than four or five. Okay. So, how much is a bushel? A bushel is like a bushel basket. You okay. Know. So, like Depends 30. On, so, there could be a lot of apples in there, depending on the size of the apple. Granny Smith's about 35. Granny Smith, I think, are made in a lab somewhere. <laughs> They don't look to me like they came off a tree. <laughs> See, in my country, we don't have apples like that, so I don't know how real these are. Let me tell you, when I grew up, there was no Granny Smith apple. All of a sudden, it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like gala. It, it, there was never a gala apple when I was a kid. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Uh. All right, back to back to volleyball. <laughs> Raptors up by two. We've we've uh, explored the world of apples, and now we're back to the world of volleyball. And Deanna Garcia on the service line. She's been super effective today for the Raptors. <laughs> All right, I have just been told over the headset that a peck is two dry gallons. So I assume that means two gallons of apples. I guess so. In a, like a gallon container of some sort. Okay. Got a lot of apples. You learn something new every day. So this, what we have lined up here, this array of Granny Smiths in front of me, uh, that could very well be close to a peck. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to ask our camera guy to take a look at this. And, uh, you know, maybe the <laughs> lens can tell us, is this a peck or not? <laughs> We've been having fun with Granny Smith all weekend long. So the Raptors up by three, 21-18. Jana Crocker would love to serve this set out. Nice dig by Maggio. Di Maggio, I'm sorry. They have a Maggio and a Di Maggio on uh, Carroll. Nice dig there by Bates. Here comes Wesley Whoa. putting it away. And she does what she does best. Megan Wesling. So impressive. Another good look at Jana Crocker getting ready to serve. Raptors up by four. Great serve. That was a lot of heat on that one. Great save. Oh, good try. That was just out. An excellent attempt. Just out. So another point for Carroll. 22-19. Ooh, what a dig by Wesling. Because that was a tough serve by Badorf. Good block. Oh, what a block. What a block by Davey. Yeah, she has been commanding the net today. She is. She has really been a force in the middle of that uh, Raptor front line. So they call a timeout with the, the Raptors on the verge of taking uh, the second set as uh, Davey is, uh, would love to serve out this, uh, this set. Raptors uh, looking comfortable and relaxed in the, uh, in the, uh, the huddle. Carroll desperately trying to 
keep from falling behind two sets to nil. And uh, if that's the case, uh, they've got quite the hill to climb. They would have to win three straight sets in order to take the match. Anyway, anything in life is possible. Absolutely. Which then gives me the chance of becoming six foot five as I'm five ten. But you know, anything's possible. We'll see. All right, here we go. Teams are coming back out on the court. And uh, Ariana Davy will once again be serving for the Raptors with the mat or the set on the line. Set point for the Raptors. Up 24-19, and here it comes. Bador. Great work. Clark, Crocker with a great save. There, oh. And battling it out. Here comes the set. Here comes Boom. Wesling. Up. Oh, DiMaggio's there for it. Bad or to save Wesley. Oh, oh. oh, somehow they got it across. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Oh man, she couldn't, couldn't handle that one. Man. Wow. That was incredible. Wow, what a point. That was an exciting point. And Carroll takes it, so they're up. Uh, they trailed 24-20 in DiMaggio on the service line. Here's the set. And Olivia Wright puts it away. So the Raptors take the second set, 25-20. And after two sets, the Raptors are ahead, 2-0. And we will be right back with the third set after a quick break. Yo, get the speaker box loud, hitting that stuff till you hear that sound. And we're back on the uh, Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Uh, and right before we came back, you saw a quick graphic there showing that uh, coming up this Tuesday, uh, Andre and I'll be right back here at courtside as the Raptors welcome in the Chesapeake uh, Community College Skipjacks uh, from down there uh, near the Eastern Shore, right where uh, 404 turns off of 50 is, uh, is where uh, um, Chesapeake College is so they'll be uh, making the journey up here to uh, to Rockville on Tuesday. The match starts at six o'clock. MCTV and uh, Andre and quite possibly the uh, Granny Smith Apples will be back here for uh, for that match on Tuesday evening. Yeah, I mean it seems to be a uh, a staple. Since we have like a little bit of time, do you want to give like a quick kind of like how this came about, how this legend of the MC The legend Smith. of the uh, of the Granny Smith Apple. Well, Andre and I and Sonia Rada, uh, our other commentator for soccer, we were calling the uh, the soccer doubleheader on uh, Thursday here at Montgomery College. And, and during the men's game in the second half, there was a, a stoppage in play uh, for a, a minor injury on the field. Yeah. And our cameras zoomed in for a close-up. Yeah. And lo and behold, the keeper, the, the goalkeeper for uh, for Frederick mm -hmm. had a Granny Smith apple in his hand. Yeah, just Magically. casually. Yeah, it magically came out of nowhere. casually had one. It came out of nowhere, seemingly. And then we just, is that an apple? Is that an apple? That's what was getting reiterated over and over until we realized it said it, it was, was an, an apple. apple. It was an apple. Just randomly. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, you know, I spotted the stem and I'm like, what? <laughs> I got to say that's a first. I have I've never seen a soccer player with food of mid -ga mid game. Mid game <laughs> of any type. And the keeper is going to be sitting there munching on an apple. Yeah. <laughs> When he's facing the Montgomery College men's uh, offense? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah. anyway, that's where all this uh, jibber jabber about uh, Granny Smith uh, apples has come from, <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's it's it, you know it's going to become part of uh, MC athletic lore as the it might, you, you know, know the great Granny Smith mystery. You know, it might make the Hall of Fame at this point. <laughs> I know. Pretty soon we'll see a plaque out there for a, <laughs> with a Granny Smith on it. You know. Uh, anyway, we are all set for the uh, start of the third set. The Raptors uh, up two sets to none, so this is do or die for uh, for Carroll. And the Raptors jump right out to a one nil lead. Yeah, great spike by Crocker. Boy, she's been a force from uh, from the outside today. Yeah, she's a top player. Ariana Davy comes in. She is a she's had quite a day. And Raptors quickly up two nil, two nothing. Good look at the uh, and there is. Um, Malena Bates, who's had an excellent day from the service line and on the court. Of course, I jinxed her. <laughs> Sorry about that, Malena. <laughs> and now we get a good look at the uh, at uh, Maria Acheron for uh, for Carol. She's had a good day. <laughs> and then you just <laughs> I did it again. I'm going to keep my mouth shut during these uh, during these serves. Is there a black cloud over me or what? <laughs> I don't know. So, anyway, Deanna Garcia. There we go. There we go. Oh. oh. Good put away there by Lauren uh, Gariglia. And Abigail Morley with the serve for uh, Carol. And she puts it into the net. This is our uh, third and final match of the day. The Raptors are up two sets to none. Should they win this one, that would be the match. It's best uh, out of five sets. Great ace there by Crocker. <clears throat> Good look at the front line. There's uh, Alex Thayer and uh, Ariana Davey. And there is Jana Crocker. Oh, good serve. And Badorf could not handle it. Wow. Wow, Crocker on a run here. She is. She is. That's three straight aces. So she's put the Raptors up 6-3 all by her lonesome. Another great serve. Wow, yeah, another one. Raptors point. She is doing it. On a roll. I wonder what the record is for most aces in a row. Uh, that is a good question, and I would not have. <laughs> the truck just told us it can't be more than 25, and you know what? I think they're right. They're all right. Yeah. They're all right. I was trying to think if I could find a loophole in that, but no. That would be something to behold. I've seen some ace runs in my time, but never anything close to 25. <laughs> And that breaks that r little run right there. Look at the spirit out there. The smiles, they, they are loving this. These kids love playing the sport. Wesling. Wow, oh. great one. Megan Wesling has just been a force all day long for the Raptors, playing with great confidence, a lot of spirit. Wait, I just, I just thought about it, actually. 27 could be the record of aces in a row. 27? Well, that's... Oh, no, 26, right? Don't you have to win by two? You have to win so by two. So if a team is winning 24 to zero, then someone goes on a... 
Well, that is very true. Oh, see? That is very true. Then it would be 26. 26 would be the record. Ooh. Andre throwing the curveball. You know, volleyball is one of my favorite sports, you know? All right, back to the action. There is Wright. Cutzler. Oh, great dig by Wessling. Thayer. Whoa. Oh, oh. Raptors wall. Wow. Raptors wall and a point for the Raptors. Olivia Wright. Force in there. So Alex Thayer back on the uh, service line. That was a great and serve. That was an excellent serve. Had a little bit of like spin on it as well. So a lot when, of power. Yeah. Tough shot. Hit Badorf, uh, but uh, about thigh high. Tough return. And she bangs that one into the net. Could be a little fatigue there. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, uh, when you see the back line attacks hitting the net, it's because the legs are a little bit tired. They've been out there a long time today because every every set has been tight today. Oh, good, good attempt. And they played back-to-back -back games. Exactly. So it's almost, you know, exactly. it's more sets they've played rather than just playing the the three, they're almost at, what, five sets right now? Yeah. Straight, they, five straight sets? Uh, well, they played, um, it was a four-set match against Potomac State. So then, And now yeah. they're in the third ma uh, third set of this so match. seven. So seven sets. It's a lot of volleyball. Yeah, straight. And Badorf has pretty much been out there the entire time. Mm -hmm. I don't recall seeing her on the bench. Uh, they may have taken her out uh, for a break at some point, but um, she really hasn't spent much time on the bench. The same can be said uh, for the Raptors, uh, Melena Bates. Yeah, she's, she's been hardly been life. out of there at all. Um, and uh, and Crocker has played a lot of minutes for the for the Raptors today too, as has Wesley. So, but uh, what I what I'm Seeing is a deeper Raptors team this season, mm -hmm. um, and which is great because it does give the coach the flexibility of making quality substitutions. Yeah, that's always key. And with meaningful minutes, and um, she's got a lot of talent on this team, and I I get the feeling that they are really coming together. They're. Um, they're six and two in September with their earlier win, and um, if they win this match, it'll make them seven and two in the month of September. So they're on a roll. They are on a roll, and we've still got a week left in the month. And as uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, we'll be right back here Tuesday night uh, when the uh, Raptors welcome in uh, Chesapeake College. The Skipjacks. The Skipjacks. So here's Alex there at the service line. Another tough serve. And the smallest player on the court got that, uh, got that point for uh, Carroll. So that puts uh, Grace Bowman on the uh, service line. Wesling, great dig. Here comes the set, Bayer. Oh, Back set, set to Wesling. Wow, and power. that's out. But no accuracy there. Raptors on top, 14-6. This is their biggest lead of the uh, of the match. All three sets included. Migos goes into the net, and then will turn it over to Carroll. 
And Stacy Cutzler with the serve. Raptors get it over on a tough what? serve. Oh. oh. Good effort there by Carroll, but uh, the Raptors pick up the point. And that'll put uh, Milena Bates back on the service line. She's had quite a day back there. Great defense by Migos. And there's Stanojevic with the point. Number 13, Anna Stanojevic. So Bates will stay right there. 16-7 Raptors. Ooh, boy, that was a tough serve. Just barely scraped over. Amigos with a backline attack. Crocker. Bad or. Wow, that was incredible. Great dig there by Amigos. And Acheron puts it away. She's been solid throughout this she actually has. the whole day. She has. She's been really solid. Very good player. Just a freshman. Oh, Crocker found that back corner and just buried it. She liked that one. 17A Raptors, Deanna Garcia. And good effort, but the point to the Raptors. 18-8. Jordan Cross comes in for the Raptors. Alex Thayer checks out. I think this might be her first time coming in today. She did, I believe she played uh, in, the la in the Potomac State match a, a brief bit. Another point for the Raptors, and that was Jordan Cross, and the team, team loves that. They have such great camaraderie at, on this team. They do. It's awesome to see. Uh, yeah, it's really great. Ooh. Badorf put that one away. No tired legs on that one. 19-8 Raptors. Biggest lead of the day for pretty much any team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been close throughout. Had three really good volleyball matches today. If you like volleyball or if you're just getting to know the sport, this was uh, it's been a good day to, to pay attention. Carroll doesn't uh, is not backing down a bit, even though the Raptors closing in on uh, taking the third set. They lead it 2-0. And Cross hits that one out. Nineteen eleven. Morley back on the uh, service line. Comes the set for Crocker, and it's out. Point two. Carroll, so they've been on a little run now. Raptors had a nine point or ten point lead. It's now down to seven. Ooh, miss hit. And another point for Carroll. Carroll with new life. Yeah, they're coming back into it. 
Set, Davey. Bates. Davey. Nice dig by DiMaggio. Badorf. Good battle at the net. Bates. Comes the set. Crocker puts it away. Crocker is very accurate, and she's got good power behind her. Uh, oh, yeah. She has a laser beam. The save. Here comes Wesling, puts it away. Just see that one coming. Oh, yeah. Once you see her kind of like do her gather steps, uh, yeah. you know, for the spike, I'm just like, you know what? I'll put the tally mark down. She is only added to her. That's out. Yep. So 22-13 now, Raptors, as they close in on a three-set three sweep here. Raptors leading 2-0. In case you're just tuning in, I hope you're not. I hope you've been with us all day, but uh, – Today was a try match. In the first match, Montgomery College knocked off Potomac State three sets to one. In the second match of the afternoon, Potomac State knocked off Carroll three sets to one. And now we're in our third and final set. And at the moment, the Raptors are up two sets to none. And again, we want to remind you that we'll be right back here on Tuesday evening as the Montgomery College Raptors play host to the Skipjacks from Chesapeake College. So we hope you'll, if you can't be here in person, join us online, join us on YouTube, and uh, we'll have more exciting Maryland Juco and NJCAA volleyball ahead. Yes, we will. We will try to continue to be as entertaining as possible. Coming up Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. So Crocker on the service line. I would imagine she will sleep well tonight. <laughs> yeah, especially after hopefully a win or two wins. So Carroll picks up the point. And that'll put uh, Carly Badorf on the uh, service line. She's a, we've been very impressed by her today. Tough serve. Wrestling. Bates digs it out. Here comes the set for Wrestling. She dinks it. And, and they got to get it over. They do. Wrestling again. Enough of that dink stuff. Let me do it the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good call. I like that. So 23 14. And that puts uh, Ariana Davy on the line. And oh, that might be her first service error of the day. She has had a tremendous afternoon uh, on the service line. So that puts uh, Sophia DiMaggio on the service line now for uh, Carroll. And the whistle. Not sure. I think she went early. I'm not surprised because uh, Sophia DiMaggio is a little ball of energy out there, and she just can't wait. Oh, yeah. She's ready to go. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> Got a sheepish grin on her face, like, yeah. oops, I oh. jumped the whistle. <laughs> Been a pleasure to watch. Yeah. Wrestling. Cross. Cross with the point. Dinks it across. And now we are on the verge. This is. Uh, Set match point coming up here for Montgomery College. Alex Thayer on the service line. There's it. Serve. 
Acheron, and it's in. So they, Acheron staves off uh, the loss with a good kill. And that puts Bowman back on the service line for Carroll. Bates, Thayer, Wessling. Ooh, just missed it. Oh, I thought that was it. She's still smiling. That's what counts. 24-17, <laughs> Bowman. Wrestling. That was a tough serve by uh, Bowman. Raptors now get their game faces back on. Wrestling, there, and Wrestling. Oh, here we Base go. with a great dig. Alfaro is out there for uh, Montgomery College. There's and, the block and, that's and the win. The block and the win for Montgomery College. So the Raptors take this third and final game of the day, three straight sets. They win the first set. 25-22, they take the second set, 25-20, and the third and final set and the match, 25-18. Andre, any final thoughts? It was an outstanding day. Even with all the rain going on outside, inside was electrifying, uh, outstanding, fun. I had fun. Uh, it, was a, it was a great afternoon, great day of uh, volleyball here. Uh, we had a tri-match, the uh, Montgomery College, Comes away today with two wins. They won the opener, 3-1 over Potomac State. And then they come back to take the uh, the final match, 3-0 over uh, Carroll. The uh, the neutral, neutral match of the day, the, uh, the middle uh, match, Potomac State took that one, 3-1 over Carroll. So a very successful uh, day here for Montgomery College with the win. The Raptors now move to 9-4 on the year. Uh, four and two in Maryland Juco. Uh, with the loss today, Carroll drops to four and four and three and two in Maryland Juco. Um, but I'll tell you what, there were no blowouts today. None. Even though the last uh, match was a three set sweep, uh, the sets were close, ultra competitive, mm -hmm. and, and that was really the case all day. It was, it was. I mean, from the beginning to the end. It was very, very close. I mean, I'm talking about point one, uh, one team, then point the next team, then point one team, back and forth. Uh, towards the end of this uh, third game, though, it did seem like MC had a little bit more energy, a little bit more fire, and they did end up, uh, you know, kind of blowing up the, uh, the other team. But it was an outstanding day for all teams. It was a lot of fun. Well, Andre and I have enjoyed being here. And, again, we want to remind you that coming up this Tuesday night, we'll be right back here as the Raptors welcome in the Skipjacks from Chesapeake College. So we're looking forward to more volleyball action on Tuesday. And uh, keep an eye on Montgomery College social media because we've got another men's soccer game coming up on October the 6th and then a women's soccer telecast coming up on October the 12th. So a lot more Montgomery College action, uh, athletic action coming this fall. We're all excited about that. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, so for everyone, for my uh, partner, Andre Anderson, everyone on the unbelievably talented Montgomery College television crew, we want to thank you so much for watching Montgomery College Volleyball on MCTV.
We got, we got it.